welcome back to my kitchen. This week it's all about easy throw and go crock pot recipes and we're starting with this easy salsa pulled chicken. For this salsa chicken, I got a couple of chicken breasts here in my crock pot and I'm adding in this salsa. This is just some that I had just whipped up because I forgot to grab salsa at the store and I had all the ingredients to make a quick salsa so I just blitzed that together but definitely use a jar, it's a lot easier. Up next, I'm going to be adding in some taco seasoning. This is a homemade blend that doesn't have any salt, so I will be adding a little pinch of salt after. But if you're using a packet, just throw it right on in. You do not need any extra salt. It is good to go as it is. I didn't show it here, but I did go back and add in about a fourth a cup of water. You could also use a fourth a cup of chicken stock, just a little something to help things marry together. Cook on high for three hours or low for six hours. Y'all, this had my house smelling amazing. When I came back, everything was ready to go. I just grabbed my hand mixer, threw it on in, and I am just blitzing it on up until everything is nice and thoroughly shredded. You can make a taco bowl, you can make regular crunchy tacos, but I actually shifted gears and decided to make a loaded kind of chipotle style burrito with some black beans, some corn, jalapenos, cheese, the works. And here's how that came out. It was delicious and super easy. Up next here, we have something that was brand new to me. It's called Marry Me Chicken. Now I was trying to get this in the crock pot and ready to go as quick as possible and I didn't want a lot of cleanup so everything is going to be made right here in this measuring cup and poured on into the crock pot. I'm starting by just mixing up some chicken bouillon into some broth. If you have chicken broth, use that and to it I'm adding in some heavy cream. And then we're going to be seasoning up this mixture right here. I'm just throwing in what I had left of some Italian seasoning. And because I needed some more, I just decided to sub out some oregano because I did have some of that. Lastly, for seasonings, I'm just adding in some garlic powder, paprika, and some parsley. This recipe called for three tablespoons of sun-dried tomatoes. I didn't have that, so I just decided to measure out three tablespoons of some canned tomatoes I did have. Anytime I'm missing something or I'm out of something or I forget something at the store, I try to just roll with the punches and find something similar and it always works out fine. Taking all that delicious sauce, I'm just gonna be pouring it right onto my chicken. To finish this one off, I'm adding in some Parmesan cheese right to the top, adding on my lid, and again, you're gonna be cooking this on low for six hours or on high for about three or so until it's all nice and tender and delicious. Once it was all cooked up, the house was once again smelling amazing. This chicken tasted really good. I think it would make for a really nice, quick and easy date night dinner. If you don't want to go through a fussy meal, this would still be delicious. Give it a try. Up next, we have tender smothered pork chops. I'll be linking the recipe I'm using down below. It does call for chicken broth, but I decided to swap out this beef bouillon broth instead. And to this, I'm adding in a fourth a cup of some heavy cream. I'm bringing that over to my crock pot and pouring it onto my pork chops. This is just a pack of boneless skinless pork chops. For seasonings, I'm adding onion powder, paprika, thyme, and garlic powder, as well as some salt and pepper. Thank you. 
I'm about to make what could have been a very big mess, but thankfully all of it caught in the measuring spoon and I was able to scoop it back into the container, but maybe it would be better if I actually scooped from the inside of the container instead of shaking it over the food. The crock pot to me is one of those things that I just kind of forget about and then I use it and I remember how nice it is to just be able to throw everything in one spot and have it cook for you all day and then everything turns super super tender and delicious at the end. I really need to quit forgetting about my crock pot. If you guys have any other recipes that you are just super excited about that you love, let me know what they are down below. I would love to give them a try. I added in a little bit of extra crushed garlic, just a couple teaspoons and a lid, and I cooked this on low all day for about six hours and it ended up making the most juicy pork chops. I paired it with some smoky cheese on top of some broccoli just to keep it simple and this was delicious. And up next here we have one of our favorites. This is a very simple and tasty Mississippi chicken. So throw some chicken in a crock pot and then we're going to be grabbing out some ranch seasoning. I just buy this in a big bottle and keep it on hand. I, for some reason, have a really hard time remembering to put seasonings on my grocery list when I run out. So having the big bottle just helps me out a lot. At any rate, add in three tablespoons or one packet of ranch seasoning. And here we have a perfect example of me forgetting to put things on the grocery list. I realized I didn't have any brown gravy packets, so I went online real quick and I whipped this up. This was really quick to make and it's just a kind of powdered brown gravy mix that you can keep in a jar. And it worked out just perfectly fine, so I might start using this instead. But the actual recipe is going to call for one packet of your favorite brown gravy mix. This is where you're gonna determine how much of a kick you're gonna have in your dish. So I have here a half a jar of pepperoncinis and the half jar of juice left. I typically add in half a jar of juice and half the container of pepperoncinis. It does add a really nice amount of flavor and a little bit of heat. You're gonna need a couple of tablespoons of butter and a little splash of water just to help everything kind of come all together. And you are all set. Pop on your lid and cook three to four hours on high or six to eight hours on low until everything is nice and tender and you are good to go. I'm just gonna be shredding up my chicken in my instant pot crock pot thing here. So I am removing the peppers so they don't get obliterated and then I'll add them back in after I'm done. Once you've got your chicken all shredded up, you can add back in your peppers or choose to leave them out. It's up to you. I pair mine with mashed potatoes usually. It's just quick and easy to throw together. And here we have it, delicious Mississippi chicken. Alrighty, if you got value from this video and you wanna see some more from me, just click on your screen and it'll take you to another of my videos. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. I hope you have an awesome, blessed and beautiful week and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.